small uh, river here called Kungsodran. Kungsodran is a small part of the river Dalälven and uh, Dalälven is one of our Swedish biggest rivers. Uh, Dalälven was dammed already back in the early 1900s and here the fishing is based on hatchery. Uh, but uh, for me, it's uh, here it's all started. I caught my uh, first uh, sea trout in Dalälven already in 1974 when I was 13 years old. Uh, I fished it crazy, I fished it winter and summer and uh, I know I did 14 opening days in a row, uh, 1st of January. Uh, and I know my coldest days of fishing was 32 below zero. This little stretch is about one kilometer, is divided into four pools. And uh, normally it's fished by only four people on a rotation. Now that I've fished uh, this little stream a few years, uh, I know the key here for success is to fish a small fly and fish it fast. Of course, there's been good fish and good catches done on bigger flies, but for me, a micro Patagorba or a fly with a little more color to it on a smallest TTT fished on a floater or on a hover tip is the best weapon. Pool one is where most of the big fish are, right on the border between where it's not allowed and there are a few big boulders in the middle of the river and behind these there's always many big fish. Here you need to speed up. Pool 1 is the slowest part of this stretch uh, and also maybe the trickiest to fish. You need to be careful for the sea trout and you need to be able to fish fast enough to get the salmon. I've also taken some fish, some good fish, in the tail of this pool on a really short line from the right side of the river. The long cast from the left side, you fish the same water, but it's tricky. You need to cast a really long line and it's hard to make the fly swim the right way. Pool 2 is probably the smallest of the pools and extremely technical. This is one of the places I've caught many fish and I like to wade out from the right bank under the trees and fish an extremely short line, try to speed up and um, there are many fish and it's also a difficult place to hook a big fish because uh, they want to go down the rapids and when they go down there they are lost forever. Also, you should not forget about the parts uh, in the upper section of pool two where there's a lot of big boulders with deep pockets in between. The fish like to hold here, the fast water makes them safe and to get a fly down, you have a good chance of a hookup. Pool three comes in on a very narrow, fast channel and uh, it opens up with a fairly shallow place with a lot of boulders where the smaller fish are plenty. Behind the boulders it's getting deeper and that's where the big fish are lying. I have also taken a few good fish right in the tail. This fall I had a great 8 kilo sea trout right in the shallow tail of this pool. Pool 4 uh, starts with a deep, fast channel coming in where there's some fish hiding under the deep and fast water. Here is uh, one of the few places I fish a little faster tip. But the interesting place here is really the tail. It's a fantastic tail that can be fished from both sides. I've taken so many fish here and also some really, really big fish. This summer I had a 50, 60 pound salmon following my fly in the slick water with half its back over the surface a few times without taking. Exciting place to fish.
the wading is tough and the fishing is extremely technical. I like this kind of technical fishing in a small river uh, with very big fish. The challenging way of fishing to make the fish take is what makes it so interesting. Kungsodran, the little place, the little section of Dalelven is the only place where there are some natural spawning or more natural spawning than the other part of the river. Uh, I would say that uh, today 25% of the catches in Dalelven, 25% of the trout are wild fish and the rest are coming from the hatchery. We're working and we're trying to influence uh, the fishing so there will be more natural spawning and more wild fish and less fish coming from the hatchery. Kungsordran is an interesting place where you can see what tricks will work. How uh, the small fly and the fast fly outfish the slow and bigger fly. And that's despite of the very colored water. Some of these fish you'll find in fairly shallow water and the big fly will probably scare them. We will give you more clips from Kungsodran later on this winter. Also some clips with big fish, and big fish showing and great fights. And even a small clip from Pool 4 where I landed this uh, fantastic sea trout of 10-11 kilos. So tune in and check out things and uh, you will see more of this interesting little stream.